When we were cutting plan sheets and or plan and profile sheets, we worked out of the name boundaries file and we cut sheets and put those in their own separate DGN files. With cross sections, we're gonna do things a little bit differently. I'm gonna make a new file and it's going to be a 2D file. I'm just gonna call it cross section sheets.dgn. Once into the here, we're gonna to go to our reference dialog and we're gonna attach some references. So I'm gonna attach whatever I need uh, to see my cross section. So typically your corridor, geometry, and your existing terrain. And so we're going to open those up and we'll do a fit view. And then make sure that you make your uh, active surface. So we're gonna select our terrain and make it active. That creates our 3D model. Now we're gonna right click view control. We're gonna to go to plan and 3D. It's required to have those views open uh, to cut cross sections. And so we'll go ahead and save our settings. Now we're going to drawing production and place name boundaries. And in our cross section mode, we'll have the option here for cross section sheets. And that's going to pull up our default of a scale of one inches, 10 feet with a vertical exaggeration of one. And so 10 horizontal, 10 vertical. Again, if you change your scale here, uh, you'll need to adjust your values and you can go back to your spreadsheet that we talked about in earlier videos. So you wanna pick your baseline uh, that you want to cut your cross sections along. I'm just gonna start mine at the beginning and I can, before I select where I want this to stop, I can actually go in and type a stopping station if I want to. Let's say 128, maybe I wanna adjust my intervals, let's say every 100 feet. And we will go ahead with create drawing turned on, select with a left click once and then twice, and it pulls up our create drawing dialog. And we're going to put all of these in this file, this excess sheets file. And so uh, we're gonna toggle off this file name or we're gonna go to our active file. And so now we have uh, the names of the models, if you want to adjust those for drawing and sheet models. If you changed your scales, you'll want to adjust this dialog as well as this one. And if you have a different scale, make sure that you also adjust your annotation scale. Once you have these settings the way you want them, you'll select OK. And that will create our cross-section drawing and sheet models in this file. So as usual, it'll take us to our last one. And so we'll Go back here, just take a look at one of these. And so we have our cross sections now created. And just a couple of tips, if you uh, press your F7 key, that turns on and off your slope labels for your construction class. Shift F7 toggles on and off your line weights. And then Control F2 toggles on and off your grid lines. So you have some different shortcuts there in the workspace. And so that is how we can create cross sections and we also have the ability to navigate them. So let me go back to uh, the multi-model view. We have a tool for navigating our cross sections. Here is our cross section navigator, which is really nice. And we'll select our cross section navigator. We'll select our alignment and then we'll select our view. And this pulls up our little navigator and then we can toggle uh, between our cross sections. We can hit the down arrow if we want to uh, pick a particular section and navigate to that section. And we also have uh, the option to fit view. And we also have tools to issue, issue data points. So that's how we navigate and cut our cross sections to a cross section sheets file.